Good afternoon. Welcome to today's uh, introduction to the SBC Way Breakthrough Curriculum Numeracy and Maths Pathways. My name is James Busey. I am one of the Quality Improvement Officers and I have the privilege of overseeing our curriculum development work this year uh, alongside four brilliant uh, teachers and today we're working alongside Erin and Dawn who will be supporting this pathway induction session. This introduction session is split into three parts. Part one is with myself thinking, uh, talking through the theory of the pathway, the theory of the uh, approach that we're taking. And then the second part is what we call the sand pit session, where you get to play and explore and click the buttons, so to speak, and uh, find out how the progression works. And then the third part of the session is over to you and your schools to uh, you look to see how you can use the pathways and the progressions in practice. So if you are comfortable, we'll begin with part one, which is uh, the theory. It's really important that we acknowledge to start off with that uh, the huge amount of work, time, energy that has gone into the, the progression that we've adopted. And um, we have unashamedly, with agreement, adopted the Northern Alliance Maths and Numeracy Progression, which works and dovetails perfectly with the existing SBC Early Years Progression for uh, ELP. Um, the Harnessing collective wisdom is a big part of our breakthrough curriculum approach. There isn't time to reinvent the wheel. There isn't time to start with a blank piece of paper. We need to do, to do better for our children and young people today. So we've adopted the Northern Alliance Numeracy and Maths Progression and delighted to be able to explore that with you this afternoon. But there's some key uh, theory, some key concepts that you need to be aware of. There isn't time to go into all of that in detail now. There's a whole session that we can provide on this in itself. But you need to know that the Northern Alliance progression um, is based very much in what's called the stages of early arithmetical learning. This was developed by Professor um, Robert uh, and colleagues. And uh, the stages of arithmetical learning sets out five stages of developmental. Uh, learning starting with emergent right the way through to the facile approach and you can see these on the left of your screen. The Northern Alliance framework then takes this one step further and has explored an, uh, this and adapted it more in line with the New Zealand number framework and this is where I mean we really are harnessing the wisdom of others. The New Zealand approach has been very successful in making a difference to raising attainment to children and young people in New Zealand. So this takes the five stages and expands them further to a total of nine, zero right the way through to eight. And you can see that these have been aligned to the curriculum for excellence levels, early, first, second, and then second into third. And so knowing that this is how uh, the progression is structured is important. And you'll see this kind of weaved through the whole approach and the whole document. Like I say, there's a, a whole session that we can provide just on stages of er arithmetical learning or SEAL uh, if you want to reach out for that. Another very important part of the theory that underpins this progression is the idea of building mathematical understanding. So there are three types of uh, knowledge. It's called factual, procedural and conceptual. And becoming competent mathematically involves mastering all three of those, the facts, the procedures and the concepts, and they all support each other. They are interlinked and the progression that we have adopted makes very clear reference to the strategy, the procedures, and you'll see them in blue throughout the document and the knowledge, the factual knowledge, the facts, then are highlighted in green and the conceptual approach is underpinning all of it. Uh, so just bear that in mind as you go through the progression. If something is blue, it's a strategy, it's a procedure. If something is in green, it's knowledge, it's a fact that we just need children and young people to know. And the conceptual approach underpins how we help our children and young people acquire this. Uh, this conceptual idea, this conceptual understanding, we uh, ad adopt and are promoting the concrete pictorial abstract 
approach to learning. This is not just specific to mathematics. It is developed by Professor Bruna et al. And uh, this was identified as when we as humans learn something new, we learn it best in the concrete by the tactile, manipulative, working with it, playing with it to help us develop an understanding. Then we can move on to the pictorial, which is to draw it, to, to have numbers and, and, and shape written on a page to demonstrate our understanding. And then we move on to the abstract, which is we can do things mentally through mental agility in our, uh, in our brains uh, to demonstrate our understanding. So this concrete pictorial abstract, again, is woven through how the progression works. And we need to make sure that we are at any point that we're introducing new learning, this concrete pictorial abstract is appropriate. It is not just for young learners. It is not just as support for learning measure. Concrete pictorial abstract would work for me as a, an old man if I'm trying to learn something new, not just for young learners or those with support learning needs. However, we can't always have the manipulatives, the practical physical manipulatives. Uh, whilst we will be promoting and providing kind of a shopping list, a wish list of the things to have in your classroom to support uh, this, this approach that we're adopting, we do have, by virtue of Inspire Learning, we can use virtual manipulatives. And these are available for free directly to the iPad. Uh, the one that you're looking at here is called mathsbot.com. So if you haven't got practical double-sided counters, if you haven't got practical rec and rec, or if you haven't got practical quiz and error rods, you can use these virtual ones. They are almost as good, not quite the same as that tactile uh, physical manipulation, but it is better than not having anything. So please bear that in mind. You can use the virtual manipulatives if you don't have the physical. Now, um, to move on to the actual progression itself. We've done the theory behind the progression, but how does the, the progression work? How is it structured? It is linked directly to Education Scotland's National Numeracy and Mathematics Progression Framework. This is a national standard setting out what our learners should learn and how that looks and how that's broken down into its component parts. So what we've then done is taken the national framework, we've taken the Northern Alliance progression and then pull it apart and put it back together in hopefully a tangible, accessible way. So what you'll see through uh, when you navigate the um, numeracy and mathematics progression is something that looks like this. Uh, we've got each element of the national framework. So there's eight boxes here. And for each of those eight boxes, you can select either the orange, the purple, the blue or the green buttons. Orange being for early level, purple for first, blue for second and green for third or fourth level. And you can do that for these elements of the numeracy progression. We've got them for each element of the calculations progression, and we've got the same for the mathematics progression. So if you're looking at 2D shapes and 3D objects with your class, you can click on the orange, purple, blue or green button according to the age and stage that you are teaching. So we've made direct links to the national work so that everything we're doing aligns with the national messages. When you do actually get to see a part of the progression, and I'm going to come to a live uh, demonstration of this in a moment, but I think it's important that you just understand how it's set out. For each part of the progression, there's a page, and the pages have a very similar format. So you start off with the um, E's and O's, because we're linked into curriculum for excellence at the top. Then we have the benchmarks on the far side on the right so that we know that at the end of that level, that's what we're aiming to, for our learners to achieve. And then an Going from the left across the middle, we've got the stages, the ICANN statements for the start of a level, the middle of a level and the end of a level. And what's so helpful about this progression is it gives you really tangible examples of what that ICANN statement means, gives you some practical examples of what that might look like using that concrete pictorial abstract approach. So that's just an example of what it looks like, and I'll show you more in a moment. Another thing that we've got within this is a way to help support tracking of learning over time. We cannot track and monitor every single I can statement. There are 164 pages in this progression document. But what we've done, or what the Northern Alliance have done, using that uh, linked into the New Zealand framework for numer number, the top level um, targets outcomes that learners should have. So you can see on the screen here that early level, we're looking for counting forwards to 10. Uh, 
and we've got that for each early first second third level and then across the top you can put your class names in so you can edit this document put your class names in at the top and then you can decide how you're going to show it we need to work with you on that but we can record have they achieved that or not achieved that uh, for each of those targets and i'll show you how to navigate to that on the uh, portal in a moment because the portal if you recall if you were part of the um, spc launch spc way launch we've got this one-stop shop and every staff room should have the qr code you can use your ipad go to it and uh, hopefully soon we'll have it directly on your ipad this is a one-stop shop for everything to do with education in SBC. But we've got the, the part about the breakthrough curriculum. I'll do a live show in a minute. Within that, we've got the part for numeracy and mathematics. Within that, you can go and find everything about numeracy and maths the SBC way. That's structured around these four components. So we've got the methodology. We've got the steps to success. We have assessment. And we have how to deliver that structurally and additional support that you might need. There's this fourth part, which is just helpful hints and tips, it's additional information. So we've done this for every curricular area, these four parts, methodology, steps to success, how to assess and structural and support. And then we've also got with a numeracy, the full progression, which is provided on this pa Padlet. Uh, the full progression is available as a download, 160 odd pages. This is, uh, but don't forget that for early level, we uh, are um, using and promoting the SBC early years team um, progression. It completely aligns with the Northern Alliance, which then picks up from first through to third and fourth level. And what you'll see is that for each component, each strand of numeracy and maths, there is the first, second, third, fourth, there's a PDF and I'll navigate it now. So what I'm going to do now is to um, demonstrate how to uh, how to use this live. And I'm just going to share my screen very quickly with you as part of this demonstration. So you should have this thing link, as I said, and the uh, we click on the breakthrough curriculum. Once we clicked on the breakthrough curriculum, we can choose which uh, framework we're looking at. So we want to be having a look at numeracy and with the numeracy, there are two parts. A third part is coming, which is direct support for STEM. Watch this space. Two parts for the numeracy and mathematics. The overarching framework, clicking on the button, and that gives us what I demonstrated there, uh, giving me a security check. This will disappear in a moment. Yes, I am a human. Wonderful. Uh, four parts, so we can have a look at and develop our understanding of the methodology. We've got everything we need for the uh, progression, but I'll show you how to navigate this directly. Assessment, support and structures, and then additional material here. But then we've also got, as I said, we've got the progression portal. So if we click on here, this helps us navigate the progression. So whatever element of maths or numeracy you're teaching, you can find the perfect or the correct page within the progression. So let's say that I want to be doing calculations with my uh, primary three class. So calculations, I'm doing addition and subtraction with primary three. That's first level purple. I'm going to click on the purple button and that then brings up the page from the portal within the progression document or pages as a PDF. So here we've got first level addition and subtraction we've got five pages here there's a pdf go download it's set out in the same way we've got all these examples of how to teach it using the concrete pictorial abstract you can then because it's a pdf you can download it dot 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 download and you can annotate and use this as you see fit you can copy the link to this and put this as a planning or document on your ipad so perhaps you're using it as a shobi or perhaps you're using a onedrive but you can copy links directly to it download it yourself then you can annotate it uh, so perhaps maybe you weren't doing that we'll click the back button maybe you're looking at something to do with the mathematics progression and actually you're looking at uh, Two property of 2D shapes and 3D objects, and you're looking at second level. I'm teaching primary six, so I click on here and it'll open up for me the pages of the progression that are directly uh, applicable for that area of maths that I want to teach going through the stages. So that is available there, and that is the, the, the portal. So if I click back there, I've got my launch pad, quick recap, breakthrough curriculum, numeracy framework. I can go directly to the progression and choose the pages, or I can go to the overarching 
everything I need to know for numeracy and maths because it's got those four strands running through and that is available for you to use and to support. So what uh, the, we advise now for your um, when in, if listening to this video, we encourage you to now um, explore this session. Sorry, explore the um, explore your uh, the portal, play with it, try and find parts of the progression that are appropriate for you. Uh, have a look at that tracking and monitoring part that's within the assessment strand of the Padlet scroll right the way down to the bottom have a look and see how you might use that um, and you'll be led you can either talk to your class teacher or reach out to us as a team um, contact myself directly or to a member of the team but i hope this uh, brief overview of the progression the thinking behind the progression and how you could use the progression has been helpful